Week 12, Problem 7. Impressionist painter George Surratt created paintings with an enormous number of dots of pure pigment, each of which was approximately 2 millimeters in diameter. The idea was to have colors such as red and green next to each other to form a scintillating canvas, such as his, such as his masterpiece, A Sunday Afternoon on the Island of La Grande Jot. Jot? Jot. Hmm. Figure below. Assume uh, wavelength is 450 nanometers and a pupil diameter of 4.5 millimeters beyond what distance would a viewer be unable to discern individual dots in the canvas? Alright, I think this is referred to as the raw lane limit and I think it's kind of subjective but the idea here is we have um, for our formula we had sine of theta equals lambda or actually it starts off as tangent of theta pretty much kind of sine of theta which is kind of sort of theta, which is, let's see, what was it? Um, y over d, where y is the uh, distance between, um, from the central to the minimum. So this is for a single aperture, single slit. And if it goes down like this, goes down, then goes back up. The distance between the center and the first minimum would be y. And this distance here would be d, and this would be m for the number of minimums you're looking for, times lambda, which is the wavelength, divided by a, which is the aperture. And what the Rayleigh limit says is you can't, when you take the, you can't really take the tangent of 90 degrees. Um, theta is our tangent of theta is sine over cosine. Cosine of 90 degrees equals, or pi over 2, is 0. And you can't divide by 0, so the tangent of theta is undefined. Therefore, this entire formula breaks down when you get theta equal to pi over 2. It cannot equal pi over 2. That's the idea of the Rayleigh limit. And so, let's try this out. Raleigh limit. Oh, criterion. That sounds good. Ooh, come on, hyperphysics. Don't fail me now. And ooh, yes. 2020 vision, Raleigh limit, single slit, application of vision. Let's go this one. Nope, it's not what I want. I want something. Aha! This is it. Um, the Raleigh criterion for diffraction limited vision for an iris of 5 millimeters and a wavelength of 500 nanometers is this. So the idea here is we are, so we have this uh, radius that we can, this number of radians that we can differentiate between. We have 1.22. I don't know where the 1.22 comes from. I think it just has to do with the idea that the um, iris is circular. I don't know. It's, I wouldn't even bother memorizing it. Um, I eh, maybe you could. So just know that you can't take the tangent of pi over two. And when you're talking about an iris, you have to use 1.22. They'd have thrown a 1.22 there instead of the m. Just 1.22. Okay. So to figure this guy out, we're looking for d. And so we say, hmm. So y over d, which is theta. Let's see here. What formula did they give us? 1.2. Oh, okay. Hmm. 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 So the distance between the dots is going to be y. So each of which is approximately 2 millimeters in diameters. So I'm going to say the distance between the dot is a total of 4 millimeters. So I'm going to say that y equals 4 millimeters. 4 times 10 to the negative third meters. Um, m, not going to worry about. Actually, I'll just write this down. So, theta equals 1.22 times lambda over d. Where D is probably ah, 
and y over d. Okay, so d is what we're looking for right here. We can forget about this. So d is the distance that we are from the painting. y is going to be the distance between the dots. Lambda is going to be wavelength, and d is going to be the diameter of the pupil. So d equals, make sure that that's the way they used it, uh, iris diameter 0.5. Okay. So d is y over, so be y times d over 1.22 times lambda. Okay. And y is going to be each is 2 millimeters in diameter. So if it's 2 millimeters, then the distance between two of them would be, center to center, would be 2 millimeters. So I'm going to use 2 millimeters. I'm going to use 2 times 10 to the negative third. And then D, the area of the pupil, will be 4.5. 4.5 times 10 to the negative third. And we'll have 1.22 times wavelength of 450, which I'm going to call 4.5 times 10 to the negative seventh. Okay. So let's see here. This will be 10 to the negative sixth. These guys will cancel, and we'll have two divided by 0.122. Two divided by 0.122, and I get. 16.39 16.39 meters all right so the way this guy broke down is basically by this straight formula um, the idea behind the formula is you can't take the tangent of pi over 2 and from there you get this 1.22 I don't know where it comes from I'm just gonna say magical circular iris Meh. This formula, solve for d distance. 16.39 meters. That's pretty far away. Kind of, maybe you should have made smaller dots. All right, that's how you do problem seven, or at least is the idea behind problem seven. Again, if I get something wrong here, you know, find out the right way to do it, put it in the comments below, help out your fellow man. All right, that's it for problem seven, on to problem eight.